Mike, obviously you're here at uh, Dimmock Cricket Club helping them in the Cricket Force event today. Uh, how's it going? It's been brilliant. Uh, fantastic to see the new pavilion up, which is which is really, you know, the highlight really of, of, of the ground at the moment. Sadly, it's not quite finished yet, but it really does look uh, stupendous. But all the work you see going around on the ground, the fence, fence has just been painted. We've had some, some help here, and you know, when you think it might take somebody the best part of half a day, it's all been done in an hour or so with, with many hands and likewise around the, the side of the ground the old fence has been taken down uh, and that will get, uh, get sort of taken away and, and ready for a new one to go in. So I'm hoping by the end of the day the fences will have been painted, the new one will have been around the outside boundaries of the ground, been, been up and nearly finished and uh, it's been a great day's work but as you can see there's a lot to be done yet still here but uh, hopefully today we'll get uh, quite a bit of it done. Yeah, I know you've been to a lot of local clubs in the in the past, Mike. How important are days like this to Dimmock? Look, they're hugely important, not just for the cricket club itself, but for community as well. For the community to know that there's a safe place, a safe haven for the kids to come down. It's a nice place, it's a friendly place, it's a warm place. And I would like to think that the new pavilion will encourage a lot more parents and uh, to come down with their children to, to just sort of have a look around, become maybe social members or, or let the kids uh, have a play around, uh, whether it be football or, or cricket really, but certainly cricket is the focus here so you know that that's really what it's about it's about the community understanding what is here so not only are we doing a lot to the ground to make it a more welcoming ground we're actually telling the community we're here and uh, we want more people to come and enjoy the facilities yeah and obviously um, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about England because it's a good time to be an England cricket fan at the moment isn't it but it depends whether you're a man or a woman at the moment uh, sadly the women lost their their, their semi-final um, to Australia but uh, the, the guys played extremely well it's probably the best they've played and certainly the best they've bowled in the last four or five overs uh, both Jordan and um, Stokes yeah. <laughs> mind blowing so Jordan and Stokes both did uh, did brilliantly well in the last four or five and then Jason Roy up front was, was outstanding along with obviously uh, Mr Cool uh, Mr Root and uh, the explosive Mr Butler and uh, it, it was fantastic and and what a result for West Indies as well. Um, saw some fantastic cricket there as well. Virat Kohli and, and then Simmons was, uh, was just uh, quite frightening. So it's been a very, very good day, a couple of days for cricket. And we've seen some really good cricket in a, an exciting competition. Yeah, who would you make fa favourites for the final? Mike? I have to say, funnily enough, I'd rather probably prefer to play uh, India, funnily enough. I know Virat Kohli's playing very well. They've got Dhoni and one or two others. But, you know, the West Indies, you never know with them, and they're capable of beating anybody any day. And, you know, what they've done in this competition so far, and they've beaten England already, of course, but I think the guys are playing better now, and I think uh, they're all firing together. Uh, and that's what they need to do because, you know, as I say, the West Indies are a very good side, so I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a very exciting final again. Yeah, obviously it's been a huge improvement since Trevor Bayliss has come in as well, isn't it? How far can the England team go in all formats, do you feel? Well, look, I think they can. I mean, we're, we're, probably, we're probably undecided on, on, on our batting order in Test cricket, round about sort of, you know, two, three and five maybe. Um, but you've got the, the basis in there, uh, and it's up for grabs for, for one or two people. Um, but uh, in, in the one-day stuff, we're playing some really good cricket, and obviously, you know, the T20 team has taken that into 50-over cricket as well. So I think we're quite well-placed uh, for the next few years, and, and people can only get better. And that's quite frightening, really, when you see Butler and Stokes and people like uh, Root and, you know, Jason Roy, if he can keep going, and Hales. There's a lot of people in there that can hurt you. You know, Mo and Ali got a very, very important wicket the other day, you know, at a crucial time, uh, Adil Rashid. And there's lots of other guys, uh, you know, on the outside waiting to come in. So I think at the moment... Um, you know, a bit like England football, actually. It was quite uh, uh, refreshing to see some young players in there perform very, very well. Yeah. All right, thanks very much, Mike.